Good morning, good morning. Uh, today's Sunday, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you out there. Um, we worked on baby tapes four-wheeler today. She's got some run issues. I should say we got some run issues because I'm the one that's got to fix it. I've been working on this thing. I bought it for her a few years ago for her birthday. I think she's four. I bought it for her. But it's the throttle's not real responsive as far as idling down. And um, kind of makes me think there's a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a um, intake leak, a leak somewhere. But I've, I mean, I've sprayed it with stuff. But I did see something, man, the other day, which is, or actually, matter of fact, I think it was just yesterday, yesterday on uh, Watch West Work. He used propane and went around the, the intake area of a car to find his vacuum leaks instead of spraying like brake cleaner or carb cleaner or whatever around there. So I'm not going to do that. I, I went ahead and just bought a whole top end. Well, not a whole top end kit. Uh, cylinder, a new cylinder, new piston. Um, and when I have the head off, I'm going to surface where the intake tube goes where um, carburetor for the intake tube. And I'll show you that when we get there, but I'm going to take the plastics off and the gas tank off. So that gives us some room. And when I go to put this thing together, I can make it easier to time it and get my valve set a little easier. Um, I just, I, I can't get it to idle down, man. After, you know, you let go of the throttle, don't want to idle down real quick. It's still high idle, and I don't want her going and uh, taking off on this thing. And then she goes, and she goes and lets off the throttle, and it still wants to go. Because the front brakes, I need to change cables in it. They're, they're seized up, froze up, whatever you want to call it. Um, back brake works okay, but that's part of the back brake too. But, uh. I put the twist throttle on there because she didn't like, well, she liked the thumb, but it, her thumb would get tired after a while. So I'm going to give, drink me a little bit of coffee and work on taking these tent, the plastics off. And then uh, we'll get sit up and get to work on this. All right, we got the uh, plastic off the front. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right there's where I broke the carb the thing. Of course, that's a, third, that's a Phillips. What did I do with my Phillips? Where I broke that. I was trying to the way it sits, man. It's, it's like that, and it was hitting kind of wanting to hit the gas tank. I don't think. So I think she may be leaking right here, right here. And I, I sanded them down, tried to surface them flat. And uh, we'll see. I don't know how 
I may end up putting silicone on there. I don't even think this has a gasket in between here. I can't remember. I don't think it. I don't think it did when I bought it. So I may have to use some RTV. Of course, I ain't going to glob it on there. That's for sure. But you get this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm allergic to work. That's what that is. So we'll get the carb off, uh, set our timing before I go and uh, start messing with the taking stuff apart. That way, when we go back together, it'll be a little easier. Let me get this carb off there and we'll uh, move on from there. So I was right, there wasn't a, a gasket there, but there's a uh, an O ring. goes in there so I don't know I don't know why it's why it's leaking man well it may not be an intake leak it may be the I don't know it's something in this top end we get this head off. We'll check out valves and stuff too. But just don't know. Get that out the way now. So I need to come over here, and we'll have to. Uh, Check out the old uh, thing. Let's take them off there. <clears throat> Hoping I have the right bolt, uh, threaded bolts, man. I think I'm gonna. Uh, might end up changing these screws out for bolts. Mm -hmm. That's right there. Yeah. Have to get some ice grips for that one. notice it's got that little thing down there on the back of these I bought so I can uh, I'm a little quarter inch in there and once I get it you know, get it clamped on something yeah loosen that up a little bit and then uh, I can tighten it tighten it more after you get it clamped so you ain't trying to fight a hard hard pinch So that's a nice, nice feature of ice grips. When you look for a good set of ice grips, look for, look for that in the back of there. That's where you turn the thing to loosen and tighten it. Some of them don't have them. Some of them do them. It's a Bremen. Uh, I don't know where I bought them. I think I bought them at uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to I want to try to put my screws back where I found them. I should say where I got them out of, but where I found them, yeah. So uh, I still need more coffee, man. Ugh. That thing's got a ring on it too. Now I'll have to do some uh. A little bit of research on the timing on this. I can't 100% uh, 
say I know what I'm doing here because I set the valve on here a while, a long time ago. I don't know, a few months, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. And it still, still ain't ran right. It's still idle and high. I know there's a mark here. There's a mark on the thing. There should be a mark over here somewhere that tells me. Well, that's a clutch, I guess. I don't know what that's actually for. I don't remember how I tied this thing. But I'll have to I'll have to research it, figure out. But yeah, there's a um there's a mark right there. And what I did is I just lined it up with this right here. Check make sure the valve was closed, where it should be closed. Check for play in the in the uh, rocker up there, and that told me yeah the valve's supposed to be closed. That's what I said. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. But uh, let's see, uh, let me pull that rocker cover off there real quick. And see if the old vice grips will take it off there. It should. I don't I ain't torque them down real hard because they're old rings. Ooh, I refused to hit, my, hit stuff with my hands, and I did it anyway. Uh, learn to the uh, stuff with your hands, man. Ain't real, real, real good. Wake up middle of the night, my hands are numb. I don't know why. I know why, obviously. But. Get my apprentice wrench out. Everybody else calls them a croissant wrench. I eat croissants for uh, breakfast. Croissant sandwiches from Casey's. So, the apprentice wrench to me. I'm still an apprentice. I've been apprenticed all my life. Since I'm, all, all, I'm always learning. Or trying to, anyways. Here's the... Here's the... Rocker up in there. Uh, see if I can't get. Guess what size that is? One hundred percent positive. What size is it? Five eight four twenty nineteen. They're not nineteen. Probably nineteen. Eighteen seven eighteen nineteen. I don't know. Looks more like a 17 to me though now. I walked over to it. <sighs> 17 right there. Yep, 17. We'll get a. See what we got. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah. Scared me for a second there. Exhaust going down, exhaust come up. Right there. You can see, I got my, I think it's supposed to be 6,000, 5,000 or 50,000s or so, or no, uh, yeah, something like that. One or the other. So I know I set these, it they feels, you know, there's play in them, so I know they ain't too tight. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, these valve covers, or these rockers off here, get this timing chain off and stuff, and then we'll, I'll bring you when I get this cover off and so I can set the timing. All right. Got the timing set on here. You line up this with that mark. <sighs> And it looks like it's off a little bit. Now on top of the magneto here, that's a T. 
That's the letter H. Get up there, pointer. Let's see here. It's H. I can't get you some light. See the H is right here. There's a line, and that's a T right there. You see the line hid behind the gasket. So you want to line up that line with that mark. If you look at it at this angle, very well lined up. Oh, there's a little bit on me. Lined up. Come over here and look, and I'm, looks like I'm going to off about a tooth, or half a tooth. So, I mean, it seems to be running fine that way, but... But anyway, we're going to tear it apart. When I put it back together, we'll make sure that's dead on. So, but I wanted to get my timing close so I tear this head off. Yeah, I, I'm going to check top dead center when I get the new cylinder on and new piston. Make sure the piston's at top dead center. Make sure this marks right. Make sure this magneto maybe didn't spin or something, you know, something fishy. We'll just go from there. So. Get this head pulled off, time chain yanked off, and pull timing or pull the head off. So we'll get started. All right, we got all the bolts out. Put a little zip tie on there to. A little holding. I think it's the timing chain tensioner here. I'm not positive. I don't know what it is. We'll know until I get it out because I ain't never been ain't never been in one of these engines. I took the exhaust off before. Oh, what is that? No. Let me make sure I get them out of there. Oh, you know what? Exhaust is still holding. I got the exhaust bolts and all that off there. I just gotta. Let me figure out how to get the uh, exhaust loose. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad, boy. Not real sure. Can't really, really tell. I think it's a Maybe a 12, 12 or 11, but I'm pretty sure possibly 12. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Yeah, that's really what I like here, man, is dogs barking. Yeah, I understand people's got pets and all that good stuff, but uh, yeah, I just I don't know. I think that dog's in a privacy fence too. Can't see nothing, barking at absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. I first moved in here, my neighbors right next door. They had two dogs that, that barked non stop constantly. Like the first day I moved in, it, one of them got loose and came after my daughter. That's baby tape. 
And I mean, it was going to bite her. I mean, Alan yelled. I was out. Luckily, I was outside. And I was able to tell Alan, do not move. You know, that the dog's going to, he won't touch you. Just stand still. And I was able to walk over to her. But the dog was like kind of sitting there barking at her. Like, and uh, she was trying to run for the house. I told her, don't run. Don't run. Maybe you don't run. So I was able to get over there and get the dog away from her. But I don't want to be. I don't permit, I don't promote animal violence or abuse against animals, but man, that would have been, been one bad day for that dog if it would have touched my kid. There we go. Exhaust off. I don't know. Man, I didn't think I was going to have to do that. Yeah, you didn't, there's a couple 12 millimeter bolts I had to take out to get the exhaust rest of the way off. I said tight, it's gonna work. Tighten it up a little more. Yeah, there we go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Uh. Ooh. Got some. Got some oil on it until I change the oil for Queen's this. Yeah, it's time to change tension earn. <laughs> I tell you right now, I don't know how that <coughs> that tensioner is gonna work or how it works. I don't know what it hooks on inside that motor, but We'll pull his head off. We'll, we'll see. Let's check it out. Let's see if he's actually on top. Top dead center. I said she's top dead center. Yeah, that line's top dead center. Honey. That's, she's right on it. Yeah, see, there's another. Timing tens, tummy change tensioner. Looks to be in fairly good shape. Huh. I don't understand that part, though, but see, that's just a keeper, so don't fall down in there. See. Let's, let's uh, wipe this bad boy off and see what's up. Stand you guys up a little bit here. We be able to count her around together. There's a pretty bike right there, ain't it? I actually went riding yesterday. My kid had the, the town uh Pageant, Miss uh, Town Pageant, and she, uh, yeah, she didn't win, but you know, she's going up against some older girls that you know their talent show was a lot better. Uh, Talent's hair wasn't fixed up really, you know. Uh, her mom didn't really do her hair or nothing. But, uh, Head gasket, multi layered. Not really. Let me see these things. There's a dimple up right there, but it looks pretty good. Ah. So here's the Here's where the real story lies. Hey now.
get up there so we can piece together what we got together here. I don't like to see any like scratches, but you can see where discoloration and stuff. Yeah, but you can tell she's kind of wore out. Been road, she road pretty good. There ain't like a, a little bit of a lip. Yeah, a little bit. She bore down just a little bit. I don't think this had anything to do with it. Really, I don't know. <coughs> you know it's kind of always a little hard to start. The rings are loose. They're not stuck. Let's see how these pissing there. Got a keeper in there. I don't know why I'm wiping up oil. I got that. Looks like five gallon worth of power steering fluid. From the dually leaking at the hydro boost. But uh yeah, we're gonna, gonna pull them pull them keeper out of there. This one I will use a pick for not not my test light. My test light's usually just stronger at the tip. Gonna pick to get them sealed out of them cylinders. If you've seen my last video, like my maybe my last video, <laughs> come on, go around. Gotta make sure I keep on to this because I don't know if it's the other one's got new got keepers with it or not. Oh, come on. She'd run a, you know, look like carbon build up, maybe a little rich, but these rings ain't, ain't stuck, and I didn't check to see what the ring gaps were, if they were a little side to side, but no in and out. Crank bearings are good. Ah, right, come on. Ah. So, let's check this out together here. A little way right here. That must be the bottom. That must have been the top. No, it went in. It went in that way. So that's the top. That'd be the bottom. See, there's your arrow for, for you put your piston in. It's got a point towards the exhaust. So, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a little break here and uh, get set up on. I'm gonna pull one of these piston rings out. And we're gonna put it in that cylinder, and we're gonna check see what the uh, ring end gap is inside that cylinder. See if how wore out them rings and cylinder is. Just to kind of give me an idea, you know, that I ain't just doing this for no reason, but I'm probably, I probably am probably doing it for no reason, but 
at least at least you'll you know I'll know that it's good you know as far as many years of riding left in it uh, there's no significant oil leaks or anything on this thing so I mean it's it's a good bike a quad bike whatever you want to call it a four wheel bicycle that's where we go but uh these new wheels all the way around it that one's got a big old hole in it so i'm gonna take a break getting kind of hungry i haven't had breakfast yet and i don't know what is it 8 30 9 o'clock and i'm i usually eat twice by now so we'll see in a little bit all right so we uh did ring gap this is about eighteen and a half thousand. And this is around seven thousand. Please show over in the house. So there's baby tape. She bought me some uh Father's Day stuff. And coffee mugs, skittles. We gave her twenty bucks at, at the uh carnival after her present. And you supposed to use it to go and get on some rides. I asked her when she got here this morning if she uh she uh got it on any ride she said no i said well what'd you do with 20 bucks she says uh i use it to buy presents i said presents present for who she said for me so she took the 20 bucks i gave her and bought me presents instead of getting on rides what do you think about the four-wheeler really? you gonna be able to put it back together by yourself um. you don't know Oh, uh, hold on. So yeah, I was reading on a form that seven thousand is tight, and it should be around twelve to eighteen. So this is probably just about right. I think it's a little war, but I'm gonna go with the seven thousands. I'm just gonna leave it. So, yeah, and then here's the valve or the head cylinder head. We're gonna get a lot of carbon in there. So, oh, that ain't too bad. But I'm gonna check them valves, make sure they ain't leaking. I'll put some put spark plug back in her and fill her up with some stuff after I wash it out with some. Great cleaner. So let me get this stuff ready to reassemble and uh, bring it back into it. All right, so we got the rings on the piston. This one don't have the arrow pointing out to the exhaust. This actually has where it says intake. So let's set it on there like that. Intake's on top. So I got it set, already pushed in there with the, with the things um, set in there so I don't have to fight trying to get the rings in the cylinder after putting, putting it on. So I got to get the keeper out of this one because it didn't come with it. Put it in on one side, get it out of there, put it on the. The exhaust side that yeah, well, I should say the right side of the bike and then uh I'm gonna slide it on there and we'll get it put back together I gotta clean the old gasket off there so I'm bring it back when it's uh time to start reassembly all right I uh got the motor uh gasket cleaned off a bit so Where's that other cylinder at? But I have a pin out of it. Got to take it right there. Yeah. So 
I use of this form of gasket still it's slow drying non hardening so and I don't gob it on there you know I just nice small thin coat basically it just kind of helps me uh helps it stick to the thing to when assembling it I don't want it all smooth, smoothing out of there, looking like crap, you know. Plus, too much is not isn't isn't right. Well, I probably should have had a like kind of like a high temp one, but I use this stuff on like water pumps and stuff too, so. Water pump gaskets. No, I guess I should probably should put some inside that part. I'll clean that up. Put some of that in here. I think on that intake on that carburetor, I think I may just make a gasket and uh, get rid of that O-ring. You know what? Also, I think maybe could be culprit. When that thing threads on. You know what? It makes me really, really think now. Let's show you here in just a second what I'm talking about. I think because Huh. That really makes me think now. That's where that intake leaks at. Man, if it is, I'm gonna be because I'm set there. This is always fun trying to get these rings in there. Ugh. Oh, come on now. I'm out of there. Ah. There we go. That's a keeper. Ah, make sure I stick that. Keep my ring gap staggered here. Pissing back in there. Yep, yeah, sure did. You goofy. I put the ring. I didn't put the ring on the wrong side. I, assembly purposes, I put it on the, the opposite side that I'm working on, but we'll get it put on there. All right, now that we got that on there, it wasn't too difficult. I'm gonna clean this, clean this head up. 
you know, I still didn't look to see where, where that went. Oh, come off there. Oh, okay. No, I guess it goes down that side that thing. So, give me a second to get this forced out. And we'll check it. Yeah, all right, we got the it sprayed out, cleaned out a little bit. We're gonna fill it up with some WD-40. We'll let her sit. Filled up here. All right, we're gonna let her sit. We'll come back, check it. Let's we'll see if we got anything, any leakage. And basically, you'll be able to see the W40 where it's leaked out one side or the other. So, but we got the got the piston in. It was actually pretty easy. And we can see the the in on the. Fits in there for the intake valve, and this is the part where car the carburetor comes up from this side. So the intake valve's right here. And I've got it. My mark set on top, dead center. Here's my chain for my timing. Uh, got to figure out uh, got to figure out. The tensioner, I believe that's kind of basically no different than a car tensioner. So, or any other type of tensioner, I guess you could say. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> no, it was this way. Yeah, you know, about every time I try to do something, I put something on there, and it's like, nope, gotta go the other way. So, I don't see any liquid in there. Yep, she's dry. Except the intake side. And she is dry. Yeah, and she's dry. Nothing in there. So, the valves are sealing. Don't have to do no work on the valves. So, let me get this head bolted on there. And then we'll we'll go from there. All right, so 
I got the head on. The timing stuff was uh, a little difficult to do, so it was hard to like record and do it all at the same time. So can't really say that. I mean, I have stand, but it just. <sighs> It just took me a while, and I didn't want to bore you guys with that much. So, I'm missing one head thing here. So, where did it go? That ain't good. I want to get that snugged up though so I can get that sealer in there snugged up or, uh, so she can stay, uh, so she can cure up while it's tighten, tightening, or staying tight, whatever. I'm gonna. Tighten down a little bit. Yeah, I hope I get this started now because I didn't want to start a minute ago. There she goes, good. Uh, not sure where. Oh yeah, put that up. Let's see right here. Tighten this one up a little bit too. I know there's a torque sequence and all that, but I'm not torquing them. They're not, they're just getting tight, so. Let's see, where's that beat? Here we go. And I'm sure these are inch pounds and not, or inch pounds. Yeah, inch pounds. Uh, foot pounds. And my torque wrench is digital. My batteries are dead. So, I may be at a stopping point. Until I get some inch pounds or new batteries for my so when I I want to take Alan's fishing so I get this timing set. I get done today. So, looks like this is going to be a real pain in the butt because this tensioner I can't get loose right here. Just slide my tensioner back. Oh. Let's see how far off. I'm off again. Let's see. Get on there. Huh? Hey, right? Yeah. Hey, she was on a golf cart. She can't be on the street. If she wants to ride it in the yard, Where'd you you. All right, so got this timing done. You found that line there. I couldn't uh the mark. 
and felt exactly where it was at before, no matter which way I turned the, I went one, you know, just one link over, made it too far down, and go back, and just back to where it was before. So, yeah, it's. I was in here working on it just a little bit ago, and here come the, here come the cops pulling up in my alley, and uh, he goes, "Hey, Mike." How you knew my name? I don't know. And he uh, said, hey, your daughter can't be riding a golf cart out in the road. I said, what? Yes, yeah, she was out there riding around in the road. I said, what did you do? See the cop take off running with it? He goes, huh? I said, you a little liar. He says, I know she's seen me. But anyways, <laughs> we got <coughs> we got her back to, back together there. The shifter here. It's this piece here. You can hear the little crunchy crunchies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray that out and uh, get her with some looby doob. Uh, let's see what we got. See what we got for some looby doob. Now there's the cleaner. with the brake clean that's all. Alright. Let that dry up a little bit. We got this stuff that I used so much of it at work that I got a little bit I can spare. So yeah, you don't hear no crunches in it. blow her out with some compressed air now and get her dryer out Yeah, somebody called the old police on her. She uh she took off running from the police. He said he said, I ain't gonna write no ticket. I said, I know you're not. We don't uh I had a bad running with them here uh a few months back. Yeah. Uh, his mom was dropping her off, and uh, he was one of them that they pulled her over in my driveway, and uh, yeah, I took her took her mom to jail because she had a missed a court date on accident, and uh, she didn't know it. And they ran her plates and pulled her over and took her in, but uh, he was with them. And they were trying to come in my yard. To get her, I told him to stay off my property. Now, I ain't got to. I see how you do. You ain't got to. Can't be on my property. Well, she's got a warrant. I said, she's got a warrant. There ain't no search warrant. So you need to stay off my property. And he, it was right by the road there a little bit. He was kind of in my driveway. And he's like, this is public. I said, it's not public, bud. Who do you think put the gravel in the driveway? And, uh. See what it is, it's a utility easeway. And uh he uh, he just thought he uh you know he he's assuming that it's public, it's a it's a utility easeway through my yard. Just because it's a utility easeway don't mean it's through public or through a private individual's property, it's it don't make it don't make it right. And I told him to quit acting like a little kid, arguing with me about it, and just back up and uh, de-escalate the, the, the situation. And, of course, he didn't do it. So, I just, I just, I, I went ahead and separated myself from him. But he come here now, he was the one to come here now, and he's, he's all nice and nice. 
I told him, I said, uh, I said, you know, you ain't the one who want to argue with me, man, because you ain't going to win. And uh, I went in next day and filed a complaint. But then, uh, obviously, he probably just got slapped on the old wrist and did a little talking to, hey, you got to learn how to speak to people. Because it was more of, you know, kind of not de escalating and kind of be little old person. I told him, I said, I'm the person you're messing with. And I'm sure he went and ran, figured, went to records and figured out who lived here because I ain't had no, no contact with them. But, uh, yeah, he, hey, Mike, how, how do you know my name? I didn't give it to him that day. So, yeah, he, he snooped me out, but it was all good. I got, it's all actually on film, uh, because I had my, I had my speaker or my microphone on me. So, I may put it in there. I may not. I don't know. We'll see. But <laughs> he was nice enough. So let bygones be bygones and move on from it. You know, the thing that sucked is, uh, you know, I got my ethanol maker right there. And I'm sure he seen that and was real happy about seeing that. I mean, I don't know if he would really know what that is. but So... I mean, to make ethanol, you know, or distilled water with, or uh, alcohol for hand sanitizer. So, I mean, it's not in use. It's, it's just that way. So, I mean, there ain't nothing he can really do about it. So, uh, until I can get a torque wrench, because my torque wrench battery's dead, man. I may, I may run up run up into town and see what I can find. I can't remember if this if this goes the inch pound. It's a freaking 3 eighths ratchet or 3 eighths um, torque wrench. And I'm not sure if it's got inch pounds on it or not. I'll have to I'll have to get some batteries and check it out. So as for now, I think I'm done for the day. And we'll uh we'll get to next video we'll uh get this all back together, get it torqued down, do some work on the on the old carburetor. So here's what I was kind of thinking earlier. I want I figured I'd just go ahead and show you. See where I broke that? But see this see that that don't screw on there it, it's too it's too big but it's supposed to so i wonder if i'm getting my vacuum leak right through there leaking gas so see, this isn't bent it's nice straight but i wonder if that's where my vacuum leak is could possibly be and again, look that plastic right there is kind of bent and frayed. Huh. I don't know. That's a brand new cable and all that good stuff. So, but anyways, I'm rambling on. We're uh, we'll see you on part two. Y'all go get you some lunch because it's about noon now.